What's going on guys, it's Spartan Gaming here, and we are back today on Ark Survival Evolved, and this is going to be episode 2 for our tips and tricks, little series, side thing, whatever we are doing with this. Um, so, this episode is going to be based off of somebody that commented and wanted to know something about taming, so I'm dedicating this entire video to tips on taming. So, we'll jump straight into it. It's kind of something that's, you know, automatically implied, but... It's a very important thing, and that is to be very patient when you're going to tame. If you see something and you're like, that looks good, uh, you know, just be patient about it. You know where it is. It's probably not going to die or despawn. Just uh, go ahead and keep looking a little bit longer. You know, t you, you never know. I've had those moments where I'm like, oh, dude, that's an awesome tame. And I ignore it, and I keep looking, and then I find something even better, and I'm like, fuck yeah. You know, that's times like those where being patient really helps, and, you know, yeah, it's it's one of those things. It's kind of implied, but it's it's such an important thing that just make sure you do that. Uh, moving on, the next thing I'm going to explain to you is probably the, one of the biggest things, and that is perfect tames. And it's how to do perfect tames. Now, the thing about perfect tames is you want to try and, well, make them perfect. Hey, big guy, I'm going to shoot you. Um, what you want to do is you want to knock out whatever you're taming as quickly as possible with as least damage as possible so typically with the trank darts you can do it with the arrows but it's just one of those things now next you want to once you knock them out make sure nothing hits it whatsoever if you punch it it's not going to be a perfect aim if something bites it it's not a perfect aim so the way you can get around that if that happens is let them wake up um, I would force feed them a bunch of food so that their health is full before you do it let them wake up and then re-knock them out once that is happening, if you're on an official server or a non-modded server like this, or this one is modded, sorry, um, you want to starve it until, you know, it is ready to eat everything you're about to give it, and you want to use kibble, of course, and you're going to feed it kibble, and it's going to eat all of the kibble because you starved it, and bam, it's going to keep all of its uh, taming effectiveness, and you're going to get the best possible tame, which is the perfect tame, or you can go completely all the way perfect and get you know i think the max level now is 150 yeah so you'd get a 150 you would starve it unless you're on a server like this where you don't really have to starve them because they tame quick enough um so you just put the kibble on them let them eat it up or starve them until they eat all the kibble at once so they keep all of their taming effectiveness and there you have yourself the perfect tame all right so moving on to the next one this is a very, 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 very important thing to do, especially if you're playing on a multiplayer server. If you're playing on a non-multiplayer server, it's not really important whatsoever. But is if you're on a multiplayer server and you're trying to tame something and it's knocked out, don't put anything on it that you need. So say I have this little dung beetle knocked out right here and I'm trying to tame him. I'm not going to put anything on him. You know, say he needs narcotics, I'm going to hold on to these narcotics. When he needs them, I'll put it on him, force feed him, and take him back and hold them onto yourself. Because it has happened multiple times, and I know it's happened to other people as well. Some try, some people will just be dickheads and trolls and try and sneak up, and they'll take everything out of it, including saddles, narcotics, the food, everything. The taming will drop off, they'll take all the food out. Obviously, you'll have to leave the food in, but you, you know, you... It's one of those things, and uh, that kind of leads me to the next thing, is once you knock them out, you need to be very, very, very vigilant. You know, you need to secure the area. If you have a, you know, a buddy or a couple people in your tribe, make sure somebody, at least one person, is watching it at all times. You want to try and do that. Um, it doesn't need to happen for most teams. You don't need to be staring, staring it down, you know, 24-7, but you want to try to clear the area and try and keep at least one person around it or watching it at all times. Uh, to make sure nobody's going to steal anything, uh, nothing's going to attack it and mess up the tame, things like that. Next, and this is actually something I said in my last video, is headshots. Headshots do do more torpor. So, you know, if you get a headshot, you don't have to worry about it doing more damage because it'll also do more torpor. So, headshots are something you want to do. Um, next thing is, if you're in a dire emergency and you don't have enough... Uh, narcotics or narco berries to keep them knocked out you can actually shoot them with uh you know a trank arrow or a stone with a slingshot or a trank dart or or a prod actually to keep them knocked out it'll mess with their taming effectiveness but you can go ahead and just uh do that again 
you know, if the, that's what we did when uh, we tamed a Giganotosaurus on an official server. We actually kept shooting it with Trank Arrows because we were running out of narcotics. And it's a good thing to do, especially if you don't really care about the taming effectiveness. But uh, just keep that in mind, it will mess with it. So, moving on again to the next one. I got a little list here in front of me. Um, is you want to make sure that when you're going out to tame something, if you're expecting to tame a level 50, bring enough to tame two level 50s. You always want to bring enough, if not more, supplies than needed. Especially, you know, if you're, I'm going out to look for a level 50 trike and I find a level 80, you want to bring, you know, you want to bring more supplies than you're ever going to need. It's just one of those things that's also implied. You know, it's kind of something you always really want to do, but it's a very, very important thing. I always bring way more than you know, enough narcotics than needed, as well as the food I'm going to need. Most of the time, I don't really bring food because I just go and hunt it while um, while I knock it out and have my uh, you know friend or whatever watch the tame. Um, but yeah, so another really important thing is I, I suppose it's not super important, but it's a good thing to do is if you're going to tame something, try and tame a pair, um, because mate boosting is always good. Especially if you want to get the eggs for the make the kibble. For the make the kibble. That's some good English right there, Spartan. Um, but, you know, if I'm taming a trike, try and see if you can find another trike that's of the opposite gender. Um, it's always good to try and tame a pair. Eggs, mate boost, all of that is some good stuff. And uh, a couple more things here. Alright, sorry about that, we're back. So, one of the last couple things to do is, when you're having a partner, or you have a partner, not when you're having a partner, uh, when you have a partner, and you're going out to tame something, something really, 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 really helpful to do, is you can take the bird, and you can pick certain things up with the Pteranodon, not many, I think it's only like a Dillo, or the RG can pick up a bit more, but most of all the Quetzal, you can pick up that tame and take it to a safer area to tame it, especially, you know, if it's in a very dangerous area where there's a lot of carnivores, things like that. Uh, it'd be very good to do that. Um, and that leads me to my last thing, which is even better, is if you can have your friend pick up the tame with the Quetzal and just hold it above the ground. Don't jump off the Quetzal because it will drop the tame. But if you just hold it just like this, the tame is not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there in the Quetzal's legs and you can have your buddy walk over there. And I was pointing at the screen here like you could see me or whatever, but right where pretty much the Quetzal's head's pointing, you can just sit there and shoot it with tranks and knock it out and fall to the ground once it knocks out. And bam, you can have it tamed wherever you want. Or, 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 like we're a fucking seal, you can make a taming pen like I've made up here. This is way overboard and sophisticated as fuck, but... You can always make a taming pen, drop them in there, and trank them there. So, that is going to conclude this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Remember to smash that like button. Leave a comment if there's anything else you want to see in particular, or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I will get back with you as soon as possible. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more content. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.